Hey there, science enthusiasts. Today I'm diving into a groundbreaking experiment that forever changed the field of genetics. Griffith's experiment of 1928. Yep, that's right. Frederick Griffith, a British bacteriologist, was the genius behind this revolutionary study. So what was Griffith trying to figure out? He wanted to understand how bacteria caused pneumonia. Specifically, he was curious if different strains of the bacterium Streptococcus pneumonia could transform into one another. Sounds intriguing, right? Griffith worked with two strains of this bacterium. First up, the S strain, which was smooth, virulent and deadly, thanks to its protective capsule. When injected into mice, it caused pneumonia and the poor mice kicked the bucket. Then there was the R strain, rough and harmless, without a protective capsule. Injecting this strain into mice, no problem at all. The mice survived. Griffith's experiment had four key steps, so let's break them down. Step one, he injected mice with the live S strain. The result, the mice developed pneumonia and died. Conclusion, the S strain was definitely virulent. Step two, he injected another group with the R strain. This time, the mice remained healthy and lived. Conclusion, the R strain was non-virulent. Step three, Griffith heated the S strain to kill it and injected the heat-killed S strain into mice. The outcome, the mice were perfectly fine. Conclusion, the heat-killed S strain lost its disease-causing ability. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. Step four. Griffith mixed the heat-killed S-strain with live R-strain and injected this mixture into mice. To his surprise, the mice developed pneumonia and died. When he examined the dead mice, he found live S-strain bacteria in their bodies. So what did this mean? Griffith concluded that some transforming principle from the dead S-strain had been transferred to the live R-strain, making it virulent. This mysterious transformation enabled the R strain to develop a protective capsule and become just as deadly as the S strain. Even though Griffith didn't know what this transforming principle was, his findings were monumental. This experiment provided the first evidence of genetic transformation, showing that genetic information could be transferred between bacteria. Fast forward to 1944 and scientists Avery, McLeod and McCarty discovered that DNA was the transforming principle Griffith had observed. This revelation laid the groundwork for modern molecular genetics, helping us understand how genes work at the molecular level. To sum it all up, Griffith's experiment was a turning point in genetics. Although he didn't identify DNA himself, his pioneering work paved the way for later scientists to uncover that DNA carries genetic information. This discovery has been foundational for advances in molecular biology, genetic engineering and biotechnology. Thanks for tuning in and keep exploring the wonders of science. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of science. Catch you next time.